The presentation equation is a metaphor that attempts to describe the various factors that are involved in the creation and delivery of a presentation, which I define as one person speaking with purpose to two or more others in order to create some kind of change in how they think, feel and act as a result of it. The equation proposes that there is a cost, and this must be met either by money or some other mechanism of measuring value. That cost must at least be equal to the number of people in the audience multiplied by the length of time that you're asking for their attention. Therefore, a half-hour presentation to 50 people may last only 30 minutes, but it consumes 25 hours of human attention, which is well on the way to being one week of human productivity if you allow for breaks and so forth. But you also have to add the cost of the venue. Conference centres must be hired, and rooms must be booked, and they will need light, heat, power, refreshments, and servicing afterwards. Your presentation will require equipment in the form of flip charts, whiteboards, computer, and projector, and in the case of delivering online presentations, there are the costs of computer, camera, lighting, internet, and software. However you deliver your presentation, you may need to create visual aids for it, and you'll certainly need to rehearse it. And if you want to do a good job, that will take time. And finally, your audience must stop doing the work they normally do in order to listen to and possibly travel to and from wherever you're giving it. If the presentation equation is true, then it shows that giving a presentation is the most expensive form of communication there is, and yet it was developed thousands of years ago, when gathering people together in space and time was the most efficient way to share information. In today's world of video, email and the internet, those days are surely gone, yet we persist with the practice. So if you're going to do it, do it well.